Dolmen is a futuristic souls-like set on a spooky planet that challenges the hero with artsy critters, a meat-filled environment clearly inspired by H.P. Lovecraft, and a story full of mystery and madness. But is it enough to keep players entertained? I will talk about this in this video. Thank you for staying on the RTV Gaming channel and let's get started. The Brazilian studio Massive Work Studio was responsible for the development of Dolmen. It is curious that the game was originally planned to be released around 2019, it was then that the project was actively discussed, and streamers enjoyed the demo. Alas, the authors did not have enough experience and budget to complete the work on time. As a result, the process dragged on. Luckily, publisher Prime Matter agreed to drag Dolman to release. But was it worth it? Well, Dolman has fresh ideas that help to look at the Souls-like genre from a new angle, and the gameplay turned out to be peppy. However, weak graphics and dull level design do not allow the new product to compete on equal terms with competitors, and this is not the main problem. Alas, after the release of the outstanding Elden Ring, all the creators of similar games, including Hidetaka Miyazaki himself, should strain themselves. The fact is that against the backdrop of the main hit of 2022, all upcoming projects will look faded by default. Dolmen isn't that bad, but it's hard to explain why playing it when Elden Ring is available. So, what is the plot of the game about? In the distant future, people have learned to drive through space, colonize planets, and even make friends with aliens. Alas, the universe is too huge and often unfriendly, for example, something terrible recently attacked an important mining planet, and communication with the hard workers was interrupted. Now the hero has to figure out what happened there, and at the same time save the world. Few inputs. A unique dolmen crystal was mined in the mines, with which you can open a portal between the worlds. Alas, one day terrible monsters jumped out of the portal. However, there are other mysteries. When the hero landed on the planet, something changed course and sent him away from the epicenter of events. In addition, the area is overflowing with cocoons, the walls are overgrown with meat, and the majestic halls are disfigured by something unknown and huge. In general, everything is in the style of Lovecraft. In general, it is interesting to understand what happened in the mines. Basically, the authors follow the traditions of the genre and reveal the plot through rare entries in the terminals, but they also do not forget about more expensive tricks. For example, sometimes the developers show cool cutscenes where the characters do not waste time chatting, but fight epically. The problem is that the writers failed to come up with a truly interesting world. Alas, there are also questions about the gameplay in Dolmen. If we evaluate the fundamental mechanics, Dolmen is not much different from other souls like. The hero explores locations, fights dangerous opponents, earns souls and looks for beacons that replace bonfires. According to tradition, after death, there is only one chance to return the lost good, visiting the beacon resurrects enemies, and pumping increases damage, stamina and other parameters. However, Massive Work Studio came up with a couple of fresh mechanics. If the ability to simultaneously carry a blade and a full-fledged cannon that easily takes out ordinary enemies is not new to the genre, then the approach to the energy scale is original. In fact, we are talking about banal mana, but it works differently. The fact is that the hero has neither heals nor ammo, all this is replaced by energy. Do you want to heal wounds? Consume energy. Are you planning to shoot the enemy? Guess which scale will decrease. By the same token, the hero can also go into berserk mode and wet enemies with elemental damage, each hit spends an invaluable resource. It is curious that after elemental attacks and shots from standard weapons, energy is gradually restored, but after treatment it is not. If you spend a resource on HP, you won't be able to shoot as often as before. It will be possible to restore energy only at beacons or with the help of a replenishable supply of batteries, which are constantly in short supply. Another Dolman feature in crafting mechanics. During the races, the hero collects materials from which he can create cool equipment, weapons, a cannon, a helmet, a breastplate, and so on. All this good can be pumped and strengthened. 
The equipment is able to turn the hero into a man, a Rivian or a hard worker, each direction has its own bonuses, and they open if you pull on at least three gizmos of the same type. Three points on the Rivian scale will allow you to restore HP after each melee hit. The human branch makes batteries 50% more efficient. Workers receive more health when healed. There are three such bonuses in each branch, but you won't be able to open everything at once, you will have to think about which bonuses suit your style best, and what armor you should dress the hero in. However, high level equipment pumps several specializations at the same time, but you still need to grow up to it. In general, these are all original ideas that the developers came up with. The features are interesting, but not enough to make Dolmen unique souls like. It is worth noting that the basic gameplay is still cool. The hero learns the move set of opponents, parries, dodges unblockable attacks, monitors stamina and looks for the right moment to attack. It's nice to do this, the controls are responsive, and the opponents are moderately strong to strain, but not in rage. But over the bosses, the authors should have worked better. Mighty bastards traditionally change phases, but their move set is still not large enough to puzzle the player. If in Elden Ring even 20 attempts are not always enough to figure out how to fill up the boss, then in Dolmen the enemy becomes an open book at most on the second run. The first boss fights are completed without any tension at all on the first try. However, the main problem of Dolmen is level design. Most of the time you will have to wander through dull futuristic corridors, warehouses and caves. There is nothing to admire in these places, and the approach to building levels is terrible. The authors tried to create intricate locations with many doors and shortcuts, but the hero keeps looking at the same type of premises. In the end, it's too easy to get lost. Wandering through the standard caves, where there is nothing interesting at all, is an annoying experience. If the developers managed to draw picturesque and memorable levels, Dolmen would have come out with a cool souls like. The novelty is pleasant to fight, control energy, pump specialization and engage in other activities. However, the level design turns the game into a passerby. Yes, and Dolmen looks unimportant. The quality of the textures and lighting seem dated, and the artists lacked the talent to make up for the shortcomings. As a result, there is absolutely nothing to admire in the novelty. The sound is also average. Background melodies are not remembered, enemies grunt ridiculously, and the character's voice does not resemble a brave warrior who is ready to tear creatures to pieces. If Dolman came out in 2019, she could find her audience, albeit a modest one. Alas, the game came out after Elden Ring, in the end. Finding arguments to waste time on the creation of Massive Work Studio is not easy. However, the rest of the Souls likes, including from Miyazaki himself, will also soon face a similar problem. The adventure of the extinguished one turned out to be painfully outstanding.